so I'm just gonna jump right in and I'm just going to be throwing some Nivea Raspberry Rose Kiss lip butter on those lips. Next I'm going to be priming my face with Benefits Pore Professional and again I am just putting this all over my face to get it ready for the rest of what I'm going to put on. For foundation I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match. I'm going to dot it all over my face and then I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender to blend it all in and the thing I love about the beauty blender is it makes everything so seamless it you look photoshopped by the end of using it and don't forget to blend down on your neck as well so that you don't look like you have a mask on I'm going to be using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and like always I'm just going to be putting this on all the places I want to highlight except this time I'm using a little bit different of a technique and I absolutely love how it came out. I'm also going to be priming my eyes with this so I'm going to just take a small stippling brush and blend that in. Once I am done blending in my concealer, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and set everything that I just did. For brows, I'm going to be using this Bodyography Trio and I have found again how I like to do my brows. So if you guys would like to see um, how I fill in my brows video just like this video and give it a thumbs up and I'll get that done for you the brow and the bad brow and there's my camera and me being stupid <laughs> I'm then just going to go in and set them with a Maybelline Clear Gel and then we are going to move on to eyeshadow using the Revealed 3 palette from Coastal Scents which I'm so excited about and I'm going to be using this light brown color just to blend it into my crease and blend upwards. Make sure not to get this on your lid. I'm then going to be taking this pinkish color and I'm going to pop this all over the lids of my eyes. To brighten it up a little more, I'm going to take this shimmery pink color from the palette and pop that right over top of the just a light baby pink color we had. And then I'm going to go in with this deep brown and this is where I'm going to cut crease. Um, I'm just making a little V on the outer portion of my eye and then really focusing the rest of that brown only in the crease. I'm not blending it anywhere and you really want to kind of go literally around like the socket where your eye is and it's going to make your eyes look so much more round and appear even larger than they are. For a highlight, I'm just going to be taking this cream color from the palette and popping that on my brow bones and inner tear ducts. And then I'm going to be taking that deep brown color and running that on my lower lash line. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Mica Beauty Gel Liner and I think I finally got the hang of it and I really actually like how my eyeliner turned out this video, so it, it, it's coming together. <laughs> Then I'm just going to be taking this Maybelline mascara and coating my lashes in this just to prep them for the falsies that I'm going to put on. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Salon Perfect Perfectly Glamorous Demi Wispy Lashes, which I really like, and I'm just going to pop these on. I'm 
I'm then going to be going in and coating my bottom lashes with mascara as well. Then I'm going to go back in and define that cut crease even more because your makeup always looks different after you put eyeliner on, so I always go back in. And then I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to contour my face. For blush, I'm going to be using this NYX one in the color Mocha and popping that on my cheeks. And then I'm going to take a fluffier brush and blend it out. Then I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to be using the Jordana Lip Liner in the color Plush Plum. And I'm going to also be filling in my lips a little bit as well. For lipstick, I'm going to be using this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Monte Carlo. And I'm loving these soft matte lip creams. They dry to a matte finish and a matte red lip I'm absolutely in love with lately. And that is it for this soft cut crease look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to go follow all my social media. It'll be listed below. And until next time, bye beauties.